Hey guys, coming at you with a two-part video because there's just way too much stuff for one video. Too many secrets on Main Street in Magic Kingdom. Let's unlock Disney. Welcome back, everybody. I mean, unless you've never been here, then just welcome to Unlock Disney. If you guys could throw a like and subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. On with the show. As I've said a number of times before, without a doubt, my favorite thing about Disney World is the history and the secrets and all the hidden stuff throughout the parks. So, like, no matter how many times you go to Disney World, you can always find something new. And I find that to be amazing. It's what makes it so much fun. And sadly, it's something that really gets overlooked far too often. We're going to take a little time. We're going to unlock Disney, throwing in the catchphrase. And let's dive into some things that you may have never known or even noticed. This was supposed to be one video about all the secrets on Main Street, and it just got to be too long. So this is going to be the first part, and I'm really, really excited to do this. All right, I'm going to kick this video off by having your mind blown. See, it, it makes you want to stick around and find out how is your mind going to get blown? How is this going to happen? Did you know that the original thought process of Magic Kingdom was Walt Disney wanting to create a show? He wanted to create everything to be a big event. And Magic Kingdom, especially Main Street, is actually set up as if you were going to the theater. So this actually changed the way I view walking into Magic Kingdom. Like every time now, I'm thinking of this. So like I was saying, Walt designed Main Street and the beginning of Magic Kingdom to be a theater. Just like in a movie theater, the first thing you do is you get your ticket just like scanning your wristband. And obviously when Walt was creating Magic Kingdom, they used tickets and obviously not magic bands. That would have been looked at as well, actual magic then. And just like in a movie theater, after receiving your ticket, you then enter in, but you don't see everything yet. And that's kind of where the railroad station comes into play. It almost creates like it's a curtain dividing you from all the magic or the movie that you're about to see. And then this next part I'm gonna talk about, I. I probably walked through this area a thousand times and never actually thought of this until, you know, I started doing research and finding out the whole theater concept. So after you get your ticket, you go through the curtain. When you walk underneath the railroad station, you actually see posters of the rides set up as coming attraction posters that you would see at the beginning of a movie theater. So in this case, the movies that will be playing, Tomorrowland, Frontierland, Adventureland, and things like that. Like this, the, the next time, if you have never heard of this, the next time you go walking under that overpass, underpass, overpass, the next time you go walking through there, you're gonna see this and be like, that's ridiculous. It's coming attraction posters, phenomenal. So now you've made your way into the theater. And as you're walking into the theater, you just saw all the posters, you know, you got your tickets, all that good stuff. Immediately, you're smacked in the face with that smell of popcorn. You get hit with the popcorn smells, the bakery, all of those smells just hit you just like they would in a movie theater. So obviously now you have to go get some popcorn or a snack before you enter into the movie. Almost as if that was planned. <laughs> the next theater experience we're gonna hit is pretty cool. So have you ever walked down Main Street and wondered why is the sidewalk red? It's because it's that next step that Walt Disney wanted to give us, and that's the red carpet treatment. For every great premiere, for every great award show and everything like that, there's always the red carpet. And Walt Disney wanted to roll that out for all of his guests. Now, the next step in the theater experience, now this is something you may have noticed before or you may have heard things about. You may have noticed that the second floor of all the buildings on Main Street have writing on each of the windows. The writing is actually has meaning to it. Uh, the company names that you see on there are actually the pretend company names that Walt Disney made up when he was buying land in Florida to uh, create Disney World. Because obviously, if people heard that Walt was buying land in Florida, then everybody would have bought land in Florida when it was cheap before, you know, it skyrocketed because Disney World is being built. 
So the company names are actually a lot of the pretend names that he created. And then a lot of the names are also Imagineers. And they are Imagineers that uh, were pivotal in the creation of Disney World. So now you may be saying, so what does this have to do with your whole theater concept here, Dave? Well, I'm glad you asked that. So back in the good old days, uh, for you know my, my, my older crowd that are listening right now, you'll remember this. When you would go to the theater and you would watch a movie, the credits would actually start at the beginning of the movie. Of course, now movies have the credits at the very end, and as soon as the credits come up, everybody's leaving. Unless it's a Marvel movie because you're waiting for that post credit, which is very needed in life. So, you've already walked down the red carpet, you are now about to watch the movie, and as the movie starts, or as you're getting to the main event, which is basically the castle and Magic Kingdom itself, you're passing by the intro credits to the park, which are on the second floor of every building on Main Street. Now, that's just what I'm thinking it is, because I'm not 100% sure on that. If people do know, comment on the bottom, but I think it works out pretty good, at least for what I'm trying to do here. So we're just gonna go with that the names on the second floor windows act as credits to the beginning of this amazing show. And a quick fun fact about the names above the building, you can find Roy Disney and you can also find Walt Disney. And if you're looking for Walt, look no further than his favorite thing on earth, ice cream. So. You have bought the tickets. You have passed through the curtain. You have looked at the coming attractions. You then got your popcorn and all your goodies. You walked down that red carpet because doggone it, you're worth it. And you sat on down, started watching those credits, and then the show begins. Walt Disney wanted this all to be a special event every single time someone walks into his park wants you to walk down that main street and go through all those fun things and then you hit the castle and that's your main event and then you have the streets that go off to the different lands to more events and i just find all this stuff fascinating now obviously i am a complete disney nerd but hopefully some of the stuff that i brought up in this video will be a fun thing to share with your friends or family next time you're at disney world and maybe you're going to look at magic kingdom just a little bit different As always, I really hope that you enjoyed that. I really enjoyed doing this video. I enjoy doing it so much that there's gonna be a second part to this video. So let me throw some cliffhangers because I I have to have a reason to make you guys come back. So many things on Main Street and Magic Kingdom. Like what's a hidden STR? Can I really get Lady and the Tramp's autograph? There's something different about the flags? Street lamps? People singing from the second floor? A hidden stitch animatronic in the middle of the parking lot? I'm just messing, I made that one up. All kinds of hidden gems, fun facts, and secrets. And we're just still on Main Street. I hope to do a ton more of these videos and go all over Disney World with it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a ton of fun doing it, and I will see you in the next video.